Hey, it's Chris Cheek on in today's video. I want to chat with you and I want to reveal to you the most lucrative marketing channel for your real estate investing business. This one marketing channel that if you implement this and you put it into play and you spend the time, energy and effort to make it work, it will produce amazing results for you. If you've been struggling to get your first deal, this here is one marketing channel that is going to change everything for you. You're gonna go from not making any money, from struggling all this time to just doing deals left and right. You become a deal machine. And this is something that I learned from a conversation meeting that I had yesterday with some local investors here in Israel. I'm in Tel Aviv and I met with them and they shared with me some secrets that I'm going to, uh, one secret actually that I walked away with that I think is going to be instrumental to your real estate success. And as always, I want to remind you to please make sure that you hit the notification bell, subscribe, make a comment. I read every single comment. I try to respond. Sometimes I'm a little bit behind, but needless to say, I care about the things you tell me and I listen. So let's get on with the show, shall we? So last night I was in uh, Tel Aviv. I've been in Tel Aviv now for a few days and I got a chance to meet with some investors here that are here in Tel Aviv working in the United States, doing deals, wholesaling, and uh, they are doing quite well. They've got, their, they've got their shit together. That's the best thing I can, I can say. And uh, however, there is one comp there's one thing that I saw with them that I see with every other single investor that has success. And uh, I'm gonna talk to you about, in the beginning of the video, I said, hey, there's one lead source that if you focus on this one lead source, that you're gonna have amazing success. And the fact is, is that uh, it's really no lead source because the fact is, is that if you focus on any one thing to begin with and you focus intensely and you do your best to make it work, you're gonna have amazing success. So these guys here focused on, uh, from, on and again, going from a recollection, they focused, started with PPC and they mastered that. They did well with it. They are doing deals they are doing great on that platform and then only then do they then move on to something else only then do they say you know what this is working we've got it dialed in what else can we do you know what facebook ads and now they started facebook ads and now they're generating leads from facebook ads and they've been doing uh they've been doing that and just now just now they just implemented uh direct mail they're actually uh, he just sent out my uh, blind copy property, property notification postcard. You can get that at chrischico.com forward slash postcard. You can get a copy of that. So far, they sent out 2,800 mailing pieces and got uh, right around 6% response of people calling into the system. You got to call everybody back who calls into that system. That postcard is designed to get you phone numbers. Uh, and uh, But, you know, they have never done direct mail before. Why? Because unlike many investors, maybe you, they didn't go out and try to implement three or four or five different strategies. And that's the biggest mistake that I see with real estate investors and the ones that are struggling. Many times they tell me, Chico, I can't seem to get any traction. I said, well, what are you doing for marketing? And what they do, and here goes my daughter. She comes to say, video bomb me. There you go. All right. They come to me, they say, Chico, I can't seem to get any traction. And I say, well, what are you doing? And they give me a list of like, five, seven, ten things that they've tried over the last few months to make this business work. And then I ask, well, gee, I see direct mails on there. How much direct mail did you send out? Well, I only sent out 500 postcards, but it didn't seem to get anywhere. Guess what? It's not enough. You've got to take one thing. You've got to pick one thing. It could be direct mail, could be cold calling, could be Facebook ads, could be PPC. You've got to pick your poison. And some of that depends on you and your capabilities and money that you have available. So let's say that you have uh, you don't have that much, let's say you have a lot of time in your hands. And so if you have a lot of time on your hands, then uh, doing uh, cold calling uh, could be potentially a great avenue to take because it's going to allow you to get uh, to find deals and find leads without you having to spend a bunch of money. But you're going to have to spend a lot of time on the phone if you're doing it initially yourself, which most likely uh, you should be doing it yourself. However, if you are working a full time job, you don't have the time to be able to cold call then you need a, a lead generation method that you can spend money in order to generate leads that will raise their hands and say, yes, I'm interested, such as PPC or say Facebook, 
And then now what you can do is now you're better able to handle those because you don't have a, a tremendous amount of time available. So you've got to be able to make the right choice about the right strategy that you are uh, that fits you, fits your personality. Like for example, if I said, hey, it's great to do cold calling, but if you're working a full-time job and you hate the idea of knocking on doors, and uh, that may not be for you. If you feel that, you know what, I really love online marketing, I really wanna explore that option, I like being on the, I, I like uh, you know, spending time on the computer and putting systems in place and doing all that tech stuff, which, you know, if you're, if you're doing PPC, PPC is more difficult. If, if you wanna get online, if you want to start generating these online through paid media, I think Facebook is the way to go. PPC is uh, a lot less forgiving. So start with Facebook. But for you, you may find that, hey, you know what? Facebook might be the better option for you. So you got to figure out what, is works, what works best for you. But at the end of the day, my biggest recommendation is you got to pick one thing. You got to learn it. You got to own it. When I first started as a real estate investor, I really struggled because I was doing everything. I was going and uh, doing probates, I was doing pre foreclosures, I was doing door driving. Door driving is when you're too chicken shit to drive, a, drive to knock on the people's door, so you just drive by the address and make believe like you actually got work done. And I did all those things, but the only time that I really had the ability to get traction in, in my business, where I went from making a couple thousand bucks a month to making six months later, $110,000 in a single month, all right? The only reason I was able to do that is because I figured, I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna focus on one thing. And that one thing for me was direct mail. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna eliminate everything else. I'm gonna give it my all and I'm gonna make, I mean, I'm gonna become a master at that one thing. And once I did that, then I produced the results that I was looking for and I made a ton of money. And then at that point, then I could decide on what else I wanted to do. And that's what you need to be doing. And it's very simple. This business is not difficult. By the way, I'm here on Rothschild Boulevard. We have an apartment here on this boulevard. It is very, very busy. Lots of people walking around every single hour of the day, including at one or two o'clock in the morning. Right now we're gonna go to a falafel place that was highly recommended to me. Maybe I'll take a video at the end of this video and I'll, you know what, I'll do that. At the end of this video, stick around. I will show you this falafel place and you tell me if you think that the food looks delicious. I have a feeling it's going to be an amazing, an amazing meal. And they have all these pretty cool bean bags and mats all over the, all over here. They're community ones and you can just hang out, chill out, have a good time, relax, eat. How's that for being cool? They don't have that in Miami. <laughs> the other thing that we talked about at our meeting was the importance the critical importance of sales. And it doesn't matter your marketing strategy, it doesn't matter how many leads you generate, it doesn't matter any of that. If you can't if, talk to sellers, if you can't build rapport, you are not gonna make any money. And we were talking about, I don't wanna reveal the markets he's in, but we're talking about a few of the markets he's in. He's made, he's made some pretty substantial uh, deals and he has one right now that he has pending on the, on the contract uh, that he's gonna make a, a ton of money. I think it's gonna be over six figures. And just the ability to be able to communicate effectively and to know, uh, uh, have a proper sales conversation with the seller is so critical. So you should be, again, focusing on one, one lead generation strategy that you're gonna become the expert at. You're going to kill it. And then number two is get good on the phone. Master the art of getting good on the phone of negotiation. Chris uh, Voss wrote a great book called the, um, I forget now the book. He's a FBI negotiator. Maybe somebody can write that down in the comments here. He, he wrote a great book, Never Split the Difference. That's what it was. I'm a big fan of Jordan Belfort. Get his stuff. Go to Jordan Belfort's um, Wolf of Wall Street. Go to his channel. He has a ton of great information about sales. Go through that material and just become a master at sales. And master one lead generation method. And in the end, everything else will work itself out. You gotta trust me on this. You have to trust me in this. Oh my God, the camera is so jittery. Thank God for video uh, stabilization here. Again, walking to our falafel place. I'm gonna be so hungry by the time I get there. By the way, I'm talking to you while holding the phone with this contraption here. Holds the phone in place. Allows you to hold it like that. So as I'm talking to you, that's how I'm holding my phone. And it was, it's great. It's one of the best things I've bought for doing videos. Look it up on Amazon, it is called the Movo, M-O-V-O, M-O-V-O, 
you can probably look up Movo holder or phone holder. A few of you have asked me what I'm using for audio. So if uh, you look at right here my shirt, I have a lapel microphone. So that's going underneath my shirt and I usually just have the uh, string in my pocket. So it's always handy. So I kind of always walk around with that. People think I'm official because they're like, what's this guy doing with a lapel microphone? So here is the place right here. One of the best falafels in Tel Aviv. I would say, uh, let's just load it up. Yeah. Yes, look at that. Awesome. You ready, Roz? Yes, I'm so ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Well worth the walk for this. And we just made it here to the beach. First time here at the beach. It's amazing. It's like Miami without the humidity and rude people. Everybody here is very friendly. There you have it. A nice hot day, hot day at the beach. It was actually quite good. The water's good. Nice water temperature. Very civilized here. They had these, uh, you put in the money in the machine. It was like 30 shekels, which is about uh, under $10. You get your beach chair, you get your umbrella. And then you lay, you go and you hang out at the beach. And uh, everybody's very nice here. Uh, overall, I, it was a great experience. So I would definitely want to come back here again.